Her voice was raw and felt like sandpaper when she sobbed. Can anyone hear me? Hello? She screamed for what seemed to be the thousandth time. She had no idea where she was. She knew who she was. Kathy Gorgon. Age 22. But where she was, she had no idea. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Somebody? How was she to know her voice was lost before it reached the desert landscape, which was draped with the inky blue darkness? Where she was seemed to be like a factory. Cement walls and hallways. Equipment in piles here and there. Everything drenched in blood. Brian? You're behind us, aren't you? This is kind of weird. I I'm not into this shit. Kathy asked in her fear-shaken voice. Her voice seemed lost in this hallway. I, I really don't go for that whole you only hurt the ones you love bullshit. Couldn't we have just started off with uh, uh, handcuffs and whips? Kathy explained to her phantom boyfriend. Behind her, she heard a crunch, dragging metal on cement sound. Kathy turned around and only found the tail end of a pickaxe being drug away like a fat corpse. If you want to continue playing the sick little game, Brian, you won't be having sex with me anymore. Is that the price you want to pay? She growled, running after the rusted weapon. Kathy discovered nothing. The pipes above her shuddered and blew out a haze of an awful smelling gas. Kathy took a drink of air before holding her breath. Too late. She pressed her hand against her mouth to cough. Pulling her hand away, Kathy discovered a crimson ribbon going across her hand. She ran to a new hallway to cough the gas out of her lungs. Kathy's eyes peered upwards to see a maze of catwalks. This hallway wasn't like the two she had just been down. This one was surrounded by chain link fencing. Something told Kathy to be wary, warier than before. Something bad was at the end of this hallway. The more she crawled down this blood soaked, lighted hallway, she discovered that mixed in with the red lighting were strobe lights. 
the strobe light stripped away some of the shadows, allowing Kathy to see a sitting shape. Brian! Would this finally be over? She crept even closer to the shadow and saw that it was, indeed, her boyfriend. Kathy's eyes wept with tears of happiness. That happiness was soon returned for absolute terror. Embedded in Brian's pale flesh were glass shards. His throat had been sliced. Two glass shards kept his eyelids up, as if he were watching something he really didn't want to. They make eye clamps for that nowadays. Kathy screamed. Fuck! Oh, fuck! Fuck me! Oh, who did this to you? Why did they do this to you? Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god, Brian! No! 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 A shadow covered Kathy's shaking body. She glanced upwards with tear-stained eyes. A hulking man in a radiation suit stood over her, a gas mask over his face, hiding his features. A barrel held in his black-gloved hands, ready to pour it down over the catwalk. Welcome to... The Mushroom Factory. Fuck you! Kathy snarled. She was no better than an angered animal in a cage that had been cornered by a bunch of fur-pulling, snot-nosed brats. The barrel fell. And before Kathy could go running, the liquid drenched her, blood spraying from Kathy's once pretty face. Acid. She screamed as the acid ate away at her flesh and clothes, leaving her flesh looking like ground up meat. Pale lines raced across Kathy's pretty features and her eyes seemed to blister as the pain took over, crippling her body to the ground. The man above Kathy had disappeared to right behind her balled-up body. Kathy was begging God to just kill her, right then and right there. The gas-masked man raised his pickaxe above his head, slamming the mining tool down on Kathy's head. The end came flying out of her mouth.